perplexing at times. But what I think you will agree with is that his instincts and many of his major policy actions were generationally and transformationally against the regime establishment of the last 40 years in both political parties. And, and I, whether it be war, immigration, trade, international type agreements, and understand, he was the only one that was fighting, and these people would come in and they'd lie to him. I'm going to be an FBI director with this. And he will be the first one to say, should have handled Fauci differently, should have handled Burks differently. But you know what? If you want to see Donald Trump unleashed, wait for term, true, term two Donald Trump. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again to the new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie Cook runs ranks around Trump. Hater, okay. I call him Charlie Kick because I love kicking ass. Let's get right to today's video. So I I do have massive disagreements with you, but I do want to thank you for coming and speaking with us because I don't agree with people trying to silence you from speaking. I don't think that's right. So thank you for coming and speaking with us. Um, this I don't really understand this idea that uh, President Trump is anti-establishment because I think his record shows that he's actually really establishment. So just a couple examples like. He took uh, Barack Obama's drone strikes, which had a 90% uh, civilian casualty rate, and you know it was a bunch of war crimes that Barack Obama committed with that, killed innocent civilians and everything. Trump took that and he increased Obama's drone strikes by 432%. And even his first raid as president, um, the raid in Yemen killed an eight-year-old American girl. And like another example, he filled his cabinet with like war hawks like John Bolton, who's never met a war he didn't like. That's true. A uh, swamp swampy people like Alexander Acosta who he was literally the guy that like brokered the sweetheart deal for Jeffrey Epstein so I just I don't get the and even his voting record like Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer they voted with him like 78% well, so of the time Liz Cheney voted Chris, 90% yes, thanks sorry. for being here let me challenge you because there's a pretty okay. obvious point here if he was <laughs> if he was not anti-establishment why does the establishment try to put him in prison for 500 years so and, hold and on a second. Uh, well, hold on a second yeah, yeah. And by the way, on this drone thing, yeah, he might have continued drone programs. Did he not try to end the Afghan war? In fact, he was the only one in the room trying to end the war in Afghanistan. And finally, if he was pro-establishment, how many new wars were started under Donald Trump? Well, so for the, um, the establishment trying to lock him up, um, I do think there's legitimate crimes there. We can disagree on that. But I do agree that the yeah, establishment... Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to disagree on that. I do agree that the establishment, it, it is a politically motivated thing because... I don't. I think if he decided not to run, they wouldn't be going after him. So I do think it's pretty, but I don't think it changes the fact that those are legitimate crimes. But I don't think the establishment is scared of his, like how he would govern. What the establishment hates more about Donald Trump is that, like, he, whenever he's like running for president, he exposes the corruption in the establishment, and he has a way of making it seem like he's not part of them while while playing the game while governing. So I don't think they're so scared. Okay, so let's record. talk about three policy issues. Yes. What is the establishment regime position on trade? The establishment? Unlimited amount of trade, foreign products coming in, free trade. What was Trump's okay. position? Tariffs on China, yeah. right? Renegotiating NAFTA. What is the establishment position on global type contracts? For example, Paris Peace Treaty. Trump got out of it, right? Blew up all this stuff at the UN. How about another issue? Immigration. What is the regime standard position on immigration. Invade the world, invite the world, as many people mm. as possible. Trump put a travel ban on from China and had a terror watch list ban for any country in the Middle East. Mm. So I could go position by position, not to mention, you know, look at Trump fired Comey. Yeah, you agree with that one. Yeah, but what kind of establishment look, guy fires the head of but, the but FBI look, and them. then has to experience a two year investigation launched by Mueller well, Which and was I, and I, think that, I think that investigation was BS too, but he put okay, in, well, he put in some... Christopher, but he put in Christopher Ray. Christopher Ray right now was protecting the Biden administration. Fair enough. So yeah, that, he, that, that's he, a fair he puts, point. He puts in establishment people. Here's, here, so, so your argument is purely on personnel. And let me just say this. Donald Trump, as Rush Limbaugh would say, selects personnel that is perplexing at times. But what I think you will agree with is that his instincts and many of his major policy actions were generationally and transformationally against the regime establishment of the last 40 years in both political parties. And, That's true. and I, whether it be war, immigration, trade, international type agreements, and understand, he was the only one that was fighting, and these people would come in and they'd lie to him. I'm going to be an FBI director with this. And he will be the first one to say, should have handled Fauci differently, should have handled Burks differently. But you know what? 
If you want to see Donald Trump unleashed, wait for term true, term two Donald Trump <laughs> to be able to go after the administrative state. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. That was a constructive conversation. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I love the debates. It was really, really beautiful. Um, at the same time, I feel like people, people feel like Donald Trump is manipulative. Um, it's only when he's not in power, he can like expose corruption out and make people who are in power look stupid and kind of like they're not doing the right thing. But if you kind of like you're a Donald Trump supporter for a long time and you have seen how he rule, like he's actually a very, very good man who wants peace. Guys, you, you notice Donald Trump can like bring peace to America. And there's not anyone who's going to tell me like he, he, he acts strong, but at the same time he wants peace because he was kind of like close with Putin during his tenure. He kind of like bring that relationship with Putin. They sat together, guys. You will tell me that America is more feared now where Joe Biden is around and where Donald Trump was around. No, there's massive difference. America is a country who, where everyone wants to come to. Everyone wants to have a great, better life. On. <laughs> and it's well feared and well respected. But Joe Biden ruling it is totally different from when Donald Trump was there. Donald Trump made sure he brought peace to Afghanistan. Donald Trump made sure he brought peace within Russia and America. Donald Trump is the only president that will come out and say, if he was ruling, this would not have happened. Especially the COVID aspect of it, during the time of COVID, Donald Trump was the only president that said, this is a China virus. He's only the president who stand up and speak for the people. If he sees something that is bad, he tackles it at, a, at an instant. Like, he does not cover it up. He tackles it. And when he feels like Joe Biden is not willing, it kind of like shame him for that and say that if I wasn't post, this would not have happened. If I was given a chance to be at post right now, I would have corrected this. Especially at the time of the, um, what is the country? Ukraine and a Russian war. He was like, if it was in post, that war should have been ended in less than 24 hours, 24 hours or 48 hours. He made a statement. So you, you notice Donald Trump, always wants the betterment of America, the betterment of other countries aside of being in America. It was during Joe Biden era that BRICS nation come up. It was during the Joe Biden era that South Africa, Russia, um, other country, countries want to come together to start, to start their own currency. It was during Joe Biden. America was sanctioning Russia. It was sanctioning other countries. But if it's Donald Trump, Donald Trump would have known how to tackle that. The BRICS would not have started in the first place. So that, that student coming up, um, I'm happy he didn't take it so personal. And the discussion was actually like, um, there was an agreement and also it was peaceful. There was no any harsh words. But you can't come and run Donald Trump down. No, you can't. If you come run Donald Trump down when... Tell the cake is there. He won't accept it. Even when I'm there, I won't accept it because that man is trying his total best for America. And I would love him to rule again this 2024. A lot of his opponents are trying to ruin him down. They they kind of like sign, um, hold this business. That's I read the news. I think was it last two months that they were trying to sanction his business. And he was in court. They were trying to like bring out allegations to pull him down. Because they, they just don't want him to rule again for this for another tenor. But he's going to rule because he has massive support for me. <laughs> and so also some other Americans. Also Charlie Kick too. That man is trying his best for America. Comment down below and think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to us. Main as you can subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't don't. Shaker, oh bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed, I got scales all.